Hey. Welcome to our panel. Uh, my name is Al. I have a YouTube channel called Al Comedo. Uh, our panel is about uh, cosplay positivity. And um, let's introduce everyone. So my channel is basically about uh, conventions, Japanese culture, otaku culture. We do interviews, things like that. And um, hope you can check it out. I saw her. We have one more person. Hey, Shell. Hey, Shell. So let's start. Hey, guys. My name is Roxana. I go by Wonderless Cosplay. I've been cosplaying since roughly 2008. So it's been like seven, seven or six years, or maybe eight at this point. So, uh, hi, I'm Weston. I'm from Lucky Crash Cosplay. I'm, I'm Raz, I'm also from Monkey Crash Cosplay, <laughs> and we cosplay together, uh, and uh, I've been cosplaying since two thousand, uh, officially since 2010. Uh, I guess officially since 2000, uh, yeah, 10. Uh, probably, yeah, 2010 sounds about right. I mean, I started my first cosplay like 2002, but okay. Go ahead. Hey, I'm Shelby, and I'm from Bombshell Cosplay. I officially started in 2007, but I only started for real since like 2014. <laughs> and uh, that's our friend. This is our friend. It. She's the one who actually came up with the idea for the cosplay positivity. She couldn't be here today because she's out of state, yeah. but she wanted all of us to represent um, her idea and cosplay positivity. <laughs> So we have a little clip of our, our video introducing this little panel and uh, what it's all about. Hi, I'm Charcoal Roses of Charcoal Roses Cosplay. Thank you for coming to the panel called Cosplay Positivity. I'm sorry I can't be here, I'm away right now. But um, all these good people that are running the panel right now are going to be able to inform you what the cosplay panel is about. It's about promoting positivity and not looking down at anyone. Um, I've been cosplaying for, God, uh, off and on for the past maybe almost eight years. I started in sixth grade and kind of just stuck with Pikachu for a while until a friend of mine introduced me to other characters and how to create my own cosplays. My first con was actually AX in Anaheim, uh, early 2000s, like sixth grade or seventh grade. Kikyo was my first cosplay from Inuyasha. It was actually wonderful. I first when I first started going to Oconts, I only went one day because I had to go as a parent. But it was still an exciting experience. I spent most of my time in Dealers Hall. I wasn't sure how to feel. I was young and I was just excited just to dress up and it just felt good being another character, a character I loved in the show. WonderCon was the last con I went to in cosplay. I dressed up as Jinora from Legend of Korra. Oh my god, it was amazing. Everyone was really nice. Um, I don't think I could have met a nicer a nicer crowd than at WonderCon. It was some of the most rewarding reactions ever. A lot of people were very approached and um, were very friendly, which in turn made me feel more comfortable in my own costume. And um, I was able to take pictures. They were able to take pictures of my costume. Um, it was just, I felt really comfortable. And everyone was really nice about it. Honestly, cosplay being popular could be. If this could just. This is just a thought. Maybe heroes of cosplay, or just people willing to come out more and enjoy what they actually love and enjoy the hobby of making and creating and dressing up as a character that they they feel like they can look up to and just enjoy being the character they love. I feel like it's gotten much more popular. Like more people are dressing up. I feel like more people are getting more comfortable in their own skin, trying to challenge themselves, or just go out and have fun and be a nerd. What inspires me to make a better cosplay is always upping my game after a costume I make, or seeing how someone made something so beautiful, it was just stunning. And, but that's not all what cosplay is about, it's just what I like to challenge myself and make it better. So make it harder on myself, I guess, kind of, but while making it fun. It's being able to express 
yourself in a character you love, dressing up, and just being out with other people who love the same thing as you? Well, I've already seen slow changes in the cosplay community by posting up pictures and people telling their stories on Facebook and online. But I feel like there needs to be a broader word, so people should speak out a little bit more than just besides, you know, through pictures and posters and memes. They do, they do some good, but it's about promoting and then in person saying the defendant person that's being put down, just being aware of what you're saying to someone. Well, I wouldn't be too concerned about what other people think. If you're uncomfortable, it's okay. Go with something you're comfortable with, but you shouldn't let other people's words destroy your determination to be a character you love. Go out and have fun and continue doing it. I hope we can build a better, more positive cosplay community and um, continue having this fun that are upon us. Thank you for coming to this panel. Okay, so that was uh, Charcoal Roses. And uh, that's basically what our panel is about. So what, what is actually cosplay positivity? Um, I think we're trying to promote more positive cosplay community uh, to defend or say something to people who are being put down, to encourage people who want to start but maybe too nervous because of all these kind of factors. And we have these cosplayers to kind of show what their experience are, uh, how to handle it, and maybe some tips on uh, how to start and what to do. So let's start. Uh, how The first question is, how did you get into cosplay? We'll start. <laughs> All right. So um, I first got, got into cosplaying, um, like I said, around 2008. But prior to that, um, I attended my first convention in 2005 at Anime Expo. And that was actually my first time being uh, immersed and exposed to cosplaying. Prior to that, I didn't even know cosplaying was a thing. I, I only thought of like Halloween being the only time to dress up. And, you know, And then seeing it at conventions, I became so interested in it. So that's how I got started into it. Um, for me, I started in 2010 when uh, uh, a couple of my friends wanted to go to Anime Expo for the first time, and I'd never gone before, and they were going in Final Fantasy cosplay. So I didn't know too much about it, I just went, uh, okay, I, I'll, I'll, I'll do that too. And, <laughs> and uh, when, I, when I did it, it, when I did it, I just loved the feeling of being in cosplay, and that was was my first one. Uh, okay. Um, Diddy Kong. Uh, <laughs> the way I got into cosplay, yeah, like like uh, Roxana said, uh, the uh, I started at AX and uh, the uh, saw all the people in costumes. I went to AX for a few years before I did my first cosplay. Had my mom sew me up like a like a Tenchi shirt. Uh, this was like in 2002 or 2003 of AX, so either in Anaheim or yeah, it's probably Anaheim. It's it, not I'm probably not Long Beach. Uh, and it was uh, it was it was a different feeling being in the crowd uh, when everyone else is cosplaying and you're cosplaying. It just it bring a sense of belonging, and that was really cool. Um, I actually started in Maine, that's where I grew up, and they don't really have anime conventions there. <laughs> but I saw a commercial, for, a commercial for one on TV because I was watching the On Demand anime, you guys remember that? Yeah, you do. Okay. <laughs> and that came up, and I drove there, and I made my first one with stuff in my closet. And, um, but then in 2014, my friends from college approached me, and they wanted to do a dance to want, like Wannabe by the Spice Girls, but as the Sailor Scouts. And I was like, so cool. But they had they were really good at sewing, so they had really high standards. So so the first con I went to after that was WonderCon and I made my first costume and I posed with people from the anime I was from and everyone was so cool and so nice. But I knew that, you know, they worked for like days and weeks and even months on their costumes and I wanted to get up to that. I wanted to next time I saw them I wanted to work weeks and months to work on my costume too and be up to their level someday and that's kind of how I got started. Okay. I kind of already went to this plus, uh, <laughs> I, I think we touched upon that one. So we'll skip it, but uh, those are my AX2000. That's my first call. Uh, wow. Okay, so next is what are some good positive experiences you have as a cosplayer? Um, 
Um, I think being around other cosplayers or just at a convention with other people who are into things that you are is really fun. And feeling accepted and it's, it's also great when people approach you and you can see the excitement when they see a character that they absolutely love and the, the energy just kind of, kind of bounces back off of each other. So I, I really enjoy that aspect of it. For me, it's mostly picking a character and just running into another fan of, the char of your character and just being able to geek out. And it's just a great feeling because you can talk for you can honestly talk for hours on something you're just so passionate about. Uh, uh, some of the good positive experience. Um, how, uh, yeah, the going in, going in as your favorite character, uh, feeling like you are that character, or trying to embody that character, going out and having fun, uh, and I just, yeah. <laughs> it's a great feeling. It's a, it's a, it's a, yeah, it's a good feeling. Seeing other people respond to you and acting like you're that character mm -hmm. is a is a fun way to cosplay, I guess. Um, the, the next year when my friends and I did the Sailor Moon Dance to Wannabe for the Masquerade, we ended up winning the entire thing, like best in show, best costumes. So we had the trophy, we were walking through the hall, like the main hall to get out, and everyone started clapping, and like they all stopped, and it was like, I'm never going to see that again in my life. So. <laughs> That was like the best experience hands down of my life, not even in cosplay, but in my life. Yes. Uh, do you want to mention? Yeah, we had the exact same experience uh, during the last ALA when we brought in a Dalek. Yeah, we we brought in a Dalek costume. Yeah. And uh, and what we did, we, we did a skit with uh, with Charcoal Rose. With, with Charcoal Rose. For, and, and we for, for Anime Los Angeles of this year. And we, we did a skit for their masquerade, and it was really cool because what we did is we, we, we did the doctor and his companion at the time, which is Clara. So we did uh, doctor and Clara go to the convention, and then out of nowhere, here comes this Dalek asking for directions to the masquerade. And the Dalek was dressed up as a... Hatsune Miku. Hatsune Miku. Oh. <laughs> so here comes this Dalek dressed up as Hatsune Miku, scroll like through the audience. <laughs> Asking for directions to the masquerade, yeah, and the entire nice. club erupted. I totally yeah. forgot my lines, but yeah. I was just like completely stunned. And I kind of wanted to clap along too, but I was in the place. So it's like, damn it. Yeah. We, won, we won to awards for that one. That was great. Oh, yeah, we won uh, 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 what, Best in Show. Best in Show in the Knobs Division, and, and then, uh, and then, and then Journeyman, Journeyman for Craft Yeah. He got bumped up because of his work was uh, okay. not considered novice level, <laughs> even though it was his first masquerade. <laughs> uh, so. right. Of course, we got uh, positive experiences, but um, we won't really talk about negative experience exactly. But how do you deal with for challenging or negative experiences? Uh, I, I don't, uh, uh, when I first started taking or first started doing cosplay more uh, as a as an actual hobby, uh, I, ran, I ran into the issue where, you know, you feel like your cosplay isn't up to like a certain person's level. When you cosplay like a certain character and then you see a person in the same character cosplay but they're doing it at a such a higher level than you, it can be a little discouraging. And the way I was dealing with it is, hey, you're that character, I'm that character, we both like, we both love the same character, so I thought that as more of a way to bond with the person, I, I envy their skill, instead of saying that my skill is a little lower. Because I know if I work hard, I would get to that point, but until then, you know, I might as well bond over the character that we both apparently love. Uh, anyone else? Uh, well, we're going in order? Uh, just kind of, uh, you have a, there's a round table. Story. I guess not one that matches that one. Well, <laughs> well for me, my issue, my great, uh, my negative experiences were basically when I had to pick up a cosplay for someone else, and it, and it, it was the situations where they wanted to cosplay. They said I look, I, I would fit this character, and they also needed me to sell for them and do all the labor, and I and while. How, how did you say it? How did you deal with it? How, how did I deal with it? Well, I kind of just powered through it because, well, it's something they wanted to do, and I ended up finding myself cosplaying for them more than 
more for them than for me. And, well, eventually yeah. you do get to the point where you're just sick of it and you just go, screw it, I want to cosplay this character, I don't, I'm not going to do your opinions. So, I'm just, I'm just going to, I'm just going to go for it. You're going to do you. I'm going to do me. <laughs> yeah, that's good, that's a good message. Yeah. Going Go on. out and do the characters you love. Yeah, just do the characters you love. Because Cosplay for you, essentially. Yeah. It should yeah. always be fun. Cause it's, yeah, because you got dragged into doing stuff that you weren't familiar with, so yeah. there's no hard to it. Yeah. A lot of my friends can be really harsh when it comes to like standards of cosplay because they've been doing it for, for a couple years. But when I started working longer and harder than they did, they got kind of angry at me, like they were more critical. And I think the best way you can do it is just work as hard as you can and make the costume that you want to make and make it as many times as you want because in the end your friends are just insecure and that's why they'd say these things or other people are just insecure because they wouldn't care unless if they were happy with their lives. I don't care about someone else's costume if I don't, it, it wouldn't point it out or anything like that if I thought something was, wasn't something that I would do. But it really doesn't matter. If they say that it means that they're insecure about their own or that how theirs is going. It's nothing to do with you. Just make it as best as you want and the best that would make you happy, yeah. and that's all you need. It won't matter what they say. Just be proud of your work. Be proud of your work and always push through. Always make it. Always make it so you can be happy. So. Okay. So that's uh, kind of what we're doing next. To, but uh, what is some advice you can give to new cosplayers who are kind of nervous to start or have some kind of these same issues? Budget. Budget, budget, oh, yeah, budget, budget your cosplay. <laughs> Plan everything out. It's the worst feeling ever when you're like down to a wire uh, and you're still working on it. As for first cosplayers, I would say cosplay is something you love, because at the end of the day, if you cosplay something you love, your any any minor things here and there aren't you can easily oversee because you know you're in a cosplay that you're familiar with that you're the character that you like. So. It's not gonna come out good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. And that's okay. That's okay. That is completely okay. No one expects it to be the first time you do it to come out perfect. Yeah. If you're starting like a new thing, like prop making or makeup yeah. or wigs or sewing, okay. like if you think like I'm not doing a good job, I should just stop and take what I'm doing. No, just it's your first thing. You can practice. Yeah. The first one will never come out good. If I was mentally able to right now, I'd show you mine, but I'm still not yeah. yet. Yeah. <laughs> and we. But trust me, it's not going to come out great the first time. If you want to start with something simple and then go up from there, then that would be a cool idea. But do what you love. Like, practice on what you love. You can always make it later. You can always do it again if you don't like it the first time, which you probably won't. And that's okay. But do what makes you happy. Do what's up to won't stress you out. Just start that way. Plus, it's also a really great feeling when you have your first cosplay to your newest cosplay. Because then, then you have a nice little track of like just how far you've evolved as a cosplayer. Yeah, the before and after photos. Yeah. Because yeah. my first cosplay was Diddy Kong, and all I did to make that was was uh, was like pajamas and a shirt that I cut cut apart and made a hat and like a face mask. And, <laughs> and then now you're making giant and now making dolls. Yeah. You guys right. know who Black Canary is? It's always a good one to start with. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's nice. <laughs> Nice yeah. blonde wigs, some black leather. Yeah, nice and blue. And, and, and leotard. Oh, there you go. That's great. Okay, cool. So uh, here's some recommended resources. Uh, part of budgeting, I think, uh, Wanderlust has a cost planner. It's an application. It's an uh, application. Go ahead. Um, it's a free application, um, both on Android and Apple. And I personally use it because, like they were saying about the budgeting, I am so keen on that because with money, you have to, especially with cosplaying, it can get so expensive. So I try to keep, yeah. And it's easy just for it to get away from That's you. That's so true. Yeah. They're, they're, I've, I've been guilty. I've gone yeah. over budget a few times. I try not to, but it's hard not to, especially if you want to do cosplay for the goods. So cosplay, uh, cosplayer is a really good one. And it's free, so if you guys want to check that out, it's a really good one. Well, there's other uh, resources as well. Cosplay.com, AC Paradise. Of course, YouTube has all the tutorials. Yeah. Uh, cosplayer Mina, I, I believe it's kind of like a profile of all the cosplayers mm -hmm. that they can register, pin interest, things like that. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So, uh, I mean, in conclusion, I think the first thing is cosplay for you and cosplay is fun. Yeah. You kind of have like the five or four C's of cosplay. Just uh, congregate, you know, get, get with people that 
like the same thing that you do, compliment, make sure, you know, even if it's the first cosplay, make sure, that, say something nice about it, collaborate, you know, work with your friends, work with people who have same minds, and then contribute, uh, which Charcoal was saying, you know, if there's people who are being bullied or getting some negative feedback, you know, defend them, make sure that we all make a positive community together. Or just easily contrib uh, contribute by just taking the photo, just taking a photo. Yeah, because no matter how, like what quality your cosplay is, it's always an amazing feeling yeah. when somebody takes your photo. Yeah, com uh, uh, also the compliment part, compliments go a long way. Even if you see uh, a person who looks like they're in their first cosplay, you know, if you like a, a certain aspect of their cosplay, even if it's the tiniest detail, compliments on it because it's it's the it means the world to a person who's just starting out. Or just take their picture. Yeah, taking the picture. Like my I, my first cosplay, I, I didn't get any photos the entire day, but then at one time, someone asked me for my photo. I, it just made my entire day. This is one photo it just made like two seconds for them, but it made my entire con that somebody took a photo of me in my cosplay. Yeah. So. Is there any final words from you? Uh, uh, you want to go down the list? Final words? Just do it. Um, if you haven't, if you haven't um, done any cosplaying before and are thinking about it, just give it a try. Like, you can even purchase cosplay online, which I think is totally fine. No shame in that. No shame, mm -hmm. yeah. no shame in that. Anybody can I bought cosplay. this online. There we go. That's nice. Yeah, that's yeah, nice. very nice. <laughs> and you're supporting an artist. Yeah. There you go. You're supporting just, somebody You're, you're supporting the industry? That's good. Yeah. Uh, you want to say anything? You know, my all right, all right. <laughs> uh, okay, so yeah, just go, go out there, have fun, compliment, compliment everybody, and yeah, today, in fact, just go today, out there and just today, compliment. just compliment. If you see somebody with something that you really like, go out and compliment. Even if it's just the character. Even if it's just the character just itself, the character or that itself. tiny little aspect of oh, that's cute the way you did this, something like that, that makes it an entire day. Yeah. Final words. Okay. I like I like nerdbot.com. I go to the <laughs> May Cafe. I hang out at those sometimes. So if you want to hang out, you can go. Sponsors. <laughs> they don't sponsor me. They're not paying me anything. <laughs> I just like them. Free sponsorship. Free publicity. Free, 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 free. Uh, <laughs> All right. So thank you very much for coming today. Yes. Thank you. Guys.